Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and it's been a while since I got my hands on one of these Banpresto Dragon Ball statues to show you guys. And I'm really, really happy and excited to be able to do this review today of the Blood of Saiyans Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. Now I got this guy from Amazon like I do the rest of the Dragon Ball statues that I have. And when I bought him, he was $23.99. Now, you can take that with a grain of salt because when it comes to these figures on Amazon, the prices tend to fluctuate. So while he may be $23 right now, he could easily be cheaper or more expensive as the days and weeks go on. So if that sounds like a good price to you right now, just go on Amazon and get him before that price potentially goes up. So if you've been following Dragon Ball Super, either the English dub version or the Japanese version with the English subtitles, you're already very familiar with old Goku Black here. From the horribly depressing timeline of Future Trunks, because he never has any good news when he shows up, about how Goku got his body stolen, he was killed, everyone else was killed, some Super Dragon Balls got involved, and anyway, <laughs> this is what Goku ended up being as his body was possessed. So of course, as usual, Van Presto continues their trend of really good quality statues for very, very, very affordable prices. And one thing that they are continuing to do, which I am a supporter of, is applying some metallic paint to the hair of Super Saiyans, no matter what the form is. So they've done that with the regular blonde Super Saiyans, but we also get this metallic purpley pink rose, I guess we should call it rose color, of Goku Black's hair. So that really makes it stand out. And another thing that stands out with this figure is a really good shading job that they did on his outfit here. So of course you see that shading, you can see the darker areas around him. And even though his clothes are a bit tattered, I also think that he's powering up just by how it just seems like it's flowing like at the bottom and it looks like it's flaring up a little bit there at the top. And then just look at his hands. I mean, he has those menacing hands. It looks like he's getting ready to do some horrible things. Really nice attention to detail as usual. He's wearing the ring right there on his right index finger. And then if we flip him over to this side, you see that he's also wearing one of the two fusion earrings, which I think is pronounced the Pataru. Is that how it's pronounced, that earring? Anyway, it's there. And even though it's very, very small, the paint is spot on. Very easy to miss something like that, but they didn't do it. And I wouldn't expect them to because, you know, these figures, almost always turn out to be extremely well put together. Speaking of putting together, very, very minor assembly is required, but once the pieces snap together, they are very, very tight. You just have to connect the torso to the bottom portion of his body and then pop his head on and that's it, you are done. Looking at the face, which is a very important part, the expression of these figures, and again, really wonderful, really spot on. Uh, no weird eyes going off in strange directions. No little bits of metallic paint streaking across the face. That is never present with these figures. I don't, I don't know how they do it consistently, but they do. And uh, this Goku Black really did turn out to be a very, very nice figure. Now, height-wise, he's going to stand from the bottom of his feet to the tippy-top point of his hair at about eight and a half inches, which is gonna put him in a similar height pattern. You see, it's kind of weird when it comes to height with these uh, Van Presto figures because they have different lines. And of course, the Master Stars line is gonna be bigger than all the other types of figures, but there's also these other sub-genres of, of, of figures that they have, so. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is going to fit into scale with all of the other Ben Presto figures that you may have, especially the ones that are in dynamic poses already. So I really wouldn't want to mix those different lines in hopes of getting everything that's in scale unless you're going with like Master Stars and Master Stars only. But you know, either way, just get these figures and just put them next to each other and don't be so hard on yourself and they are still going to look good regardless. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a very simple figure, but they did a very good job on him. And you can put him next to the other Dragon Ball figures, and even though it is another Goku, it's a very unique Goku. One that we may not see 
in a canon form ever again. Super Saiyan Rose, alternate Goku in a universe has been erased. Crazier things have happened, but we'll see where they go with this. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And once again, Amazon, $23 at the recording time of this video. And if you are interested, I recommend picking him up now. So until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I'll talk to you later.